All right, guys, today we are in a super heavy duty shop here. They work on like semi trucks and holy cow, look at that thing's like tore all the way apart. Anyway, so today, We got Lyle here. Thank you so much for meeting up with me. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so this is your, I'll go over here because this light's kind of washing everything out. Look at this, so this is his setup. He's got Cornwell box. You say you just bought this one? Wednesday. Wednesday, triple bank snap-on. US General. US General down there. So we can start at your cart though. Okay. And that's, out of all the colors that Harbor Freight offers. It's why I got it. This I, has got to be the best one. Yeah. Easily. Or the white, white looks good Well, too. yeah, the white does look good. <laughs> I bought this in September yeah. of 20, last year. I seen that color and I was like, I want one of those. They're <laughs> yeah. cool, it's a cool yeah. color. Yeah, exactly. This, and then also they have like the one that's like all drawers. Yeah, which is really I, didn't, sweet. I didn't really want that. I wanted something that was a little easy to move yeah. around. Yeah, that's a good idea. But you work on these like, like super heavy duty things. Yeah. We're just looking at these U-joints that they're, or I guess they're replacing the whole drive shaft, but holy crap. Do you enjoy the, like the heavy? Oh yeah. I'm our transmission guy. I love oh, okay. doing transmissions. Some people hate them. I love yeah. doing them. <laughs> I can have them out within an hour or so. Wow. And is this all like flat rate? That you guys no, do? It, it's hourly. Oh, it's hourly. Is that typical for heavy duty? Diesel? It, so my boss has been doing it for 10 years and he said he's never really been flat rate. Oh wow. But that's good to know. Man, that's so cool. You guys got, and they're just like packed all the way around here. Good to stay busy. Yeah. So I have uh, Milwaukee 3 8 impact sockets. Nice. These are the first impact sockets I got. And uh, I liked it because of how complete you can get them. And then I got, these are the, the Icon oh, wobbly okay. sockets. And these are some snap-ons. How do you like the Icons versus like snap-on? Uh, I like the, I like snap-ons a yeah, lot. Yeah. I, I like snap-on. Yeah. All my ratchets are snap-on. This is. Wow, you have like a whole, a whole clutch. Yeah. This, this is my go-to 3 8 ratchet. Is it like the, oh, see that's the new design with the, the different locking head on it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's awesome. Then uh, then snap on quarter inch. Oh, wow, those are awesome. You got standard end, mm -hmm. end metric all the way down. So this is, you got shallow, mids, and deep. Yep. Oh, geez. Some Sun X short wrenches. Yeah. These lights are nice to just, when you're doing transmissions, you can stick on the frame and just have ambient light around oh, you. Oh, yeah. It's kind of dark under trucks. Sure. And then uh, some snap-on screwdrivers, snap-on punches. These are nice for brakes. These are my two brake tools I use. Yeah. Are these just like regular, or are these just like really cool color? They're, they're, they're just like the instinct. Yeah, yeah they are. That's awesome. You got such cool colors. Mm -hmm. Then uh, my power tour. Oh, I like that Milwaukee in there. Oh, yeah. wait, that's a snap-on, huh? I do have the Milwaukee one. I bought this about a month ago in I, I bought it because I wanted the trigger. Yeah. And it kind of replaced my Milwaukee one. Yeah. So you use this way more often than the Milwaukee? Oh, yeah. I, I've only come across probably one thing that it wouldn't take off that it oh, would. Oh, really? I had Milwaukee's long neck, 3 8 uh -huh. and I broke it, and I didn't really like it um, before I was using it. Uh -huh. So I bought this, and then I sold that 3 8 one. Why didn't you, did you like a, was it the trigger? Or what? Yeah, the trigger... I think these are just a little bit better. Are like they? they, like I can put this on a transmission bolt and it'll break it loose. Mm -hmm. I, it's not really what they're used for, but it, if you like, uh, I call it dropping a clutch when you're just taking it and just pop it oh, on there. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll break it, but uh, not know what it's supposed to be. Before. No, it's not, <laughs> but it, it does work. Uh, and then uh, just random junk drawers, screwdriver bits, torch. Cool yeah, this there. drawer used to be real messy, then I got this tray for it, oh, nice. and it fit almost perfectly. Yeah, where'd you get the tray from? Uh, Cornwell. Oh, nice. Big Cornwell fan. And then uh, some snap on the locking plus extensions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They wobble, or you can push them on, and Those they lock. Awesome. Then some Cornwell extensions, and transmission cooler line plugs. They're JIC, so they, when you're doing a transmission, you don't have to drain its oil to take it out oh okay just plug it so it just lines. keeps the mess from yeah going everywhere that's cool 
than my wrench door, my wow. smaller wrench door. Man, you got some awesome wrenches. Mm -hmm. You lose one? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I did a rear, a front main on a cat, and uh, uh, I think I left it on it. The truck. Oh no! How do you like these uh, like adjustable? They're they're nice. I I got these probably two months ago. I had the four piece set that's in my other box. Yeah. But I like this is my go to. This yeah. thing for how small it is and how wide it opens and huh. it's prick it. It does a lot. Nice. These were my first snap-on wrenches sets I ever bought. That's awesome. Bought them off eBay. And I see you like paint the like the numbers. So I uh, I did that because I seen it on TikTok. Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> last very long. Oh really? Yeah. That makes sense. Like I probably did that probably a month ago. Oh or so. really? <laughs> then uh, pliers, my high torque. So trucks are standard. A lot of them are standard. Are they? Newer ones, they're a bit of mixed of standard and metric. But yeah, met, uh, standard gets used a lot. Do they? And then these are driveline sockets. I use these for taking carrier bearings off on trucks. Their yeah. carrier bearings are about like that tall. So wow. an extra deep is nice. Yeah. So you don't need an extension. Man, that's like a crazy big battery. Yeah. The, the, so I've had to actually have this warranty. I got it back like a week ago. These batteries are cool, but mm -hmm. they'll kill this. I was having a problem before I sent it off where it would so loose on here that oh. you would pull the trigger and they would fall off. Oh no. Not fall off, but like it wouldn't connect to huh. the thing. So that's weird. It was, uh, it's nice. I need to get it. They make straps to go around them. So oh, they okay. stay tight on there. Huh. And uh, I need to get some of those. These look kind of wild. What are they? They're, they're Milwaukee. Milwaukee. They're for wire strippers. I think they're more for uh, electricians. Oh, okay. But they're great for trucks. I don't use them to crimp. I, I use these for crimping butt connectors and Oh, yeah. And I, I'll strip with these and use those for nice. con butt connecting them. I got one master set. This is also my go-to hammer. Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can, I've been taught, the smaller the hammer, the easier it is to ruin stuff. Oh, gotcha. This is my Matco uh, master set yeah, for nice Torx, set. Allens. There ain't much of E-Torx or whatever, I forgot what these are called. There's not much of those on trucks. Oh, okay. There, there is some. Just it's kind of rare to come across them. Gotcha. And some straps to yeah. hold transmissions to the jacks. Awesome. And I love those magnets. Like these. Yeah. Are these uh, snap on? Yep. Awesome. I yeah. Uh, my I graduated high school about a year ago. Uh, more than a year ago. Two. About a year and a half ago, my brother got me those. Nice. That's an awesome gift. And this like. I love this blue. And yeah, this, like it's orange combo. It's just I think they call it midnight. That or midnight. dark. I think it's midnight though. And it's like the 30 inch deep. Yeah. Man, such a nice box. I liked how tall it was. My Matco one was about here. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it's... so nice, especially with those casters that help out. Mm -hmm. Kind of raise it up a little bit. Oh yeah. So is this like the tool grid? Yeah, I nice. did that about a month ago and it, it took a minute to. Did it? <laughs> I also, uh, I didn't do any sets. I just told them what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I had to like get individual packets. Like they, they come in kits to do the drawer. I didn't do that. So I kind of, there's still some in here that I wanted in here, but I ran out of post for oh, it. Oh, gotcha. Well, these are still cool though. They kind of keep them mm -hmm. where they should be. That's awesome. But you want to do like do away with most of this stuff and so, just do the post? Yeah. The trays, I didn't want them because I like I like just taking them out and being, just bringing them with me. Yeah. Because that was like the real, I've been wanting to do this forever, but that was like the biggest concern. It's like, I like just having a tray to take right. out. But uh, then he's like, we got posts, corner posts to just lock the trays in there. Yeah. That's awesome. So is most of this, uh, I guess they're all different brands. Huh? So most of my half inch is Cornwell. These are Cornwell, Cornwell, and these are Snap-on. These are Matco's shallow, oh, wow. real deep shallow. Yeah. Like that's their extreme and then that's Cornwell shallow. Oh, nice. And then a Cornwell Craftsman for the shallows. Same for this set. This one was a BOGO deal. You buy this, you get this free. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And then, uh, then I have the same sets, 12 points in them. Nice. Those are some huge sockets back there. Yeah. Goodness. They get used a lot too. <laughs> then uh, Matt Coe's wobbly sockets. Huh. So what size is like a lug nut usually on these? Uh, 33 millimeter. 33 millimeter? Then uh, the older, so there's the newer style, then there's a lot older style where 
There's a lug nut to hold this wheel on, and then there's a lug nut to hold this oh, wheel okay. on. Gotcha. They're called bud. They're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, the yeah. inner one is a 13 16 square, and then the outer one's an inch and a half on the old ones. Wow. And we do a lot of them too. It's too big for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then uh, these are gear wrenches. Um, stud. Yeah, removed. stud. Nice. That's kind of nice. You take these out of like the blow mold. Mm -hmm. Save so much space. Then these are your driveline sockets. Craftsman. I have a snap on one in there because I have my Matco one in that cart. Oh, gotcha. And huh. then uh, most standard driveline bolts are half inch 12 points. Huh. And then there's a wobbly kit right there yeah. for Cornwell. Nice. Then uh, my snap on and torque wrench. Oh, wow. Is that, that's an angle, tech angle? Yep. That's awesome. Is that half inch? Yep. Yeah, that's nice. Bought that when it was on promo, I think, two months ago. Maybe three months ago. Oh, nice. Do you like it? Oh, yeah. I had that's a Craftsman awesome. one that's in that cart. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this one's a lot nicer. <laughs> now, the really packed wrench drawer. <laughs> Goodness. Holy cow. And you just got out of high school? Uh, about a, about two years ago. I've been doing this for three years. My so. goodness. You have a fantastic set for being so young. My yeah. goodness. Holy cow. Look, these are like, you don't even have like wrench organizers. No. They're just like packed in there. <laughs> I bought this set and these were in, these are Milwaukee and they come in them plastic trays. Okay. And I bought this set and I was like, I don't know what to do with these wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, maybe if I stand them up, that'll yeah. work. So Man. these are all Milwaukee, Milwaukee, and then these are Craftsman. These are their big Craftsman set, gotcha. and then Icon. Then these are Mil Matco's skinny wrenches. Oh, yeah, I think Capri thin. makes the same set. Huh. These are. This seems like super, like. So they're like the they claim that's like Snap-ons. Um, like Drive Plus. Yeah, and they kind of do work like that. They'll they'll bite into them. Yeah. Yeah. That, that set is like, did you get that off the truck? Yeah. Oh, man. I, uh, it was on promo, so it was 1800 And I was uh, like, that's still a lot of money, but I did want that set. Yeah, that is an awesome set. It goes from seven all the way up to 25, quarter all the way down to one and five sixteenths. Yep. Goodness, that's a solid set. These are the them other Snap-on uh, Crescent wrenches I was saying. Oh, so those are different than the ones you have in your... Yeah, so these... Uh, open a lot wider oh okay and uh huh. i use these a lot like them them have some good use on them nice. <laughs> they were you were they used to be in that drawer then really? i bought those ones huh. then these are cornwells uh i don't even know what you kind of call that the cool. yeah i don't flex know head, flex head. yeah flex head that huh. that sounds right <laughs> that's awesome so they're like reversible too huh? uh you can't flip them oh you can't they're not like... Oh, I thought they were re re reversible on the side here. No. Huh. That's still nice, though. Yeah. Do you and like uh, these Icon stubbies? Uh, yeah, I liked... I bought these, and then like two weeks later, I bought the ones on there. Oh, Because yeah. them went to an inch. Oh, okay. And they're, they're a lot... They get used a lot more. Gotcha. Huh. And these are Icons. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see those. They're a... Uh, their big watt ratchet set. Oh. I, forever, I was like, I wish they made a ratchet set that was like inch and a quarter or inch and a sixteenth. Uh -huh. And then I was at Harbor Freight one day and I was like seeing that. I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I've been looking for. <laughs> and they're reversible too. Huh? Yeah. That's awesome. The one thing I didn't like about it, and I didn't notice it until I got home, because our Harbor, Harbor Freight's in Logan. Oh, geez, yeah. That's the closest one, is it skipped 15 sixteenths. And that is a very oh. common size for no. trucks. <laughs> Yeah, and then these, uh, they're like Cornwell, they're Cornwell. Huh. Th so they come, heck, I probably ain't even got a complete one anymore, huh. but uh, I'll cut the ends off them. So it's like, okay. this is a set. I'm not, look. it doesn't look like I'm missing one. Gotcha. So. Oh, so like you could just cut off wherever yeah. you want. Oh, okay. I That's think, neat. I don't think I even have a full complete one anymore. <laughs> that looks nice though. Yeah. And it seems like it keeps them flatter than most. Yeah. Most other wrench racks. Wouldn't work for them, but. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Man, and then okay. a wrench extender. Oh, yeah. So do you do, I don't, like, do you do, like, alignments on these trucks and stuff? Or? Uh, we have a company that comes and do, does the rear. We can do a front alignment for the steer axle, but okay. we'll have a company. Like, you'll, these are your alignment washers right here. Huh. And that makes the axle straight. Oh, okay. Do they have, like. Like things they bolt up to the wheels or like how do they do it? I've never really watched them. Huh. 
So that's neat. I don't really know. I think they take the measurement from this center, like this right there, that uh -huh. center, to that, and then they'll huh. make that the same on both sides. Oh, that makes sense. That's cool. Yeah, I, know, I know nothing about <laughs> this stuff. Like it's a whole, whole different world for me. Yeah. Oh, I skipped them. These are Matco's. They're, they're stubby wrenches with their ratchet. Nice. I had so to really wrenches. modify that one to fit in there. <laughs> so many wrenches. Then screwdriver drawer. Well, screwdriver's over there. Everything that... Like a handle drawer. Yeah. <laughs> Man, these are nice too. Goodness. So are these... Uh, oh, they're like black and gray just like your screwdrivers. You know what's funny is I didn't even realize that till like a week after I bought them. Really? I was like, they match. I didn't think of that. <laughs> That's awesome. And this... Man, all this foam just looks really sweet. Yeah. That's awesome. Does this come in handy? This um, impact? It does, but I like the one you can put in your air hammer a lot better. Oh, yeah, like the shock. Uh, well, I don't know what you call them, but the shock. Yeah, I, huh. I couldn't tell you what you call That's them either. That's awesome. The uh, gear wrench. I bought that at the Holy end. crap. That's huge. I got a longer one that doesn't fit in my box that's oh. under it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ta-da. Goodness. That's wild. I guess you, I guess you need it for some of this stuff. It, like, to be honest, it really doesn't get used that oh, much. Really? But when you do need it, it's, it comes in handy. Yeah, that's awesome. What's this thing? So I had my pry bars in here, and I bought this car. So they were holding uh, my pry bars okay. in here like that. Gotcha. Huh. I had it on the side of that cart, but... They they fall. They don't. Oh, okay. I noticed that real quick that they don't like to move. Gotcha. And so, do they? Is this just like an organizer? Yeah. Oh, you just put your pry bars in there. Oh, who makes that? Do you know? Uh, Cornwell. Cornwell. It's the same as them wrench organizers. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Cornwell Torx. Bought them for they were. I think you repoed them and he's like eighty bucks. I was like, I'll take them. Nice. All these are broken. <laughs> um, I uh, did a clutch in a Dodge, and uh. A mouse, I didn't even do the clutch actually. A mouse just made its nest in there oh, and it man. got compacted and I had to dig all the crap out of there oh, with these. Oh no. It broke all of them. <laughs> <laughs> got it out though. Thanks. So then, uh, plier drawer. A lot of what I started with is in here, like all these Irwin. Uh -huh. And then I upgraded to Snap-on. Is this, so this is like a full set? Uh, it would if I didn't take two out of there oh, and put them in my okay. cart. I was like, no, that doesn't look. <laughs> that don't look the same. <laughs> Yeah, That's these awesome, are man. these are Knipex, and then those are, uh, I think, channel lock. Okay. Yeah, they got some awesome foam sets. Yeah, and Knipex snap ring pliers. I got another Matco set. Them break really easy. Oh, do they? Yeah. These I haven't broken any of these. They work, and they've been used a lot. Awesome. And uh, these are cool. They're so they add their Lyle. Mm -hmm. um, but they uh, advertise them as coolant hose removers, but on trucks for push lock air fittings, uh -huh. you can, you have to use it backwards, but you can just pop the oh, wow. fitting off huh. if it isn't seized or anything. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They get, they're pretty handy when you can't get your hand in there, but you can get them in there and they, yeah. they work. Yes. <laughs> I've only ever used these twice probably really? <laughs> and i've had them like three years oh, man. so do you just these not have like clamps like that ah uh, they just do different? but it's they're usually pretty easy to get to, oh, to where gotcha. you can just put like a you could just grab a pair of needle nose oh yeah i guess that makes it. sense like massive engine bay mm -hmm. in there. Huh. then this drawer used to be real packed <laughs> <laughs> my air hammer bits the them used to just be thrown in right there and i, was, oh, gotcha. I bought this organizer from Harbor Freight for pliers oh, and I didn't really have any pliers to use it but I was like so it sat for a minute and I was like I can put all my air yeah. hammer bits organized like that that's awesome Jeez. then some bearing punches or race punches from Cornwell and then Cornwell scrapers What's that massive uh, which one this the, one yeah so this is for brakes they're anchor pins uh, they're usually seized huh. in there I have no so, idea what anchor pin is um, I can show you real quick. Oh, sweet. We're going on a road trip. Look at that motor, my God. Yeah, that uh, that came out of a cab over. Goodness. Mm -mm. So, an anchor pin, this is pretty much an anchor pin, but it's 
they're usually not attached to the brakes. They're in this, this is called a spider. Okay. So they pivot on this side, on the other side, and um, they're usually seized in there. Oh, gotcha. So if you ever have to change them, you have to usually heat them up and then huh. hit them for a minute. Interesting. Yeah, this is like a graveyard for really big stuff. Yeah, I think only one of these motors is good. <laughs> and it's this one. <laughs> That's cool. And some, uh, I think these are Lyle as well, scrapers. These are real handy. Awesome. My, uh, you have a, you're having a bad day, George. Oh. Because <laughs> uh, your caps, uh, yeah. your extractors. Wow, look at that set. Man. That's snap on. Uh, oh, these look really mean. Yeah, I, the downside, I really wish I had a half inch set. They get, they're still handy, but yeah. there's been a, like a few times this week, I was like, man, I wish I had a half inch one. <laughs> What's in there? Oh, I'm a tap set. Oh, geez, yeah. That's a nice set. Huh. You have to bust those out, work on this stuff? Um, depends on how the day's going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't, it probably gets used once a week or oh, so. Not, not every day, but. That's not bad. These are Cornwell's Hyper Step Bits. Whoa. These are real nice. Those look similar to like the, the Matco has a... They, I'm pretty sure, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure they're made by the same people. Probably, yeah, I would imagine so. I'm just sitting here editing this video and I just remembered that one of my subscribers earlier on a different video uh, mentioned that these drill bits are made by CanCut. It's K-N-K-U-T. Um, and you can get them a lot cheaper if you buy them directly from them. You can actually get them on Amazon. Uh, so I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check out. Yeah, back to the video. And then uh, these are just Cornwell's uh, drill bits. Nice. Them are handy too. That's cool. Um, this drawer is cool. This drawer. Oh, Holy my moly. My goodness. I paid 140 bucks for those on eBay. What? <laughs> I, those are ginormous. Yeah, <laughs> they, they're pretty handy. Yeah, and those like, okay, guys, look at that. This is massive. Like my hand, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Sorry. Oh then my gosh. These are all lug nut sockets. So these these are what will take a lug nut off. Oh, okay. For newer ones, and these these are the two older ones I was saying. Wow. And see, I've never seen a three eighths or th three quarter impact before. Yeah. Everyone in this shop's got one. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then uh, awesome. this is Vim's three-quarter ratchet. Matco has one just like it too, but you can take this head off and put that, this one oh, on. Like a breaker bar head? Yeah. Wow. I, I don't use it that fun. The, the breaker bar head. Gotcha. Does one. it like extend? Yeah. Jeez. To that. Hey, this is like, like toys. <laughs> like I can't even imagine working with some of this stuff. And it, I don't know. It's there's some mental things you might like. I don't want to do it, and then it's like, oh, that was really easy. <laughs> uh, sorry, real quick. Um, on the, can I just see how heavy like a three quarter? I've never held like a three quarter gun. Oh, a gun. Dude, this is like way different than a than a half inch. These are like way heavier. That huh. thing kicks ass. That Does thing's it? cool. <laughs> I imagine this thing like ripped my arm off. Let's just put that back. That's awesome. Well, we'll go to this drawer. This drawer is just my, I'll throw gotcha. stuff in there, drawer. <laughs> uh, big air tool fan. I have two air hammers because I Matco one broke and nice. he was kind of being sketchy. I didn't think I'd get it back. So oh, I bought, really? a, <laughs> bought a Cornwell one and the next week it showed up. Oh man. This thing's handy. Real, this thing's real handy getting on behind engines and on top of transmissions. Oh, yeah. Is that pretty torquey? Yeah, it, it it has some it has some guts to it. Yeah, I, I thought that was a three eighths after nope. looking at that three quarter. That's half inch. Yeah, that's half inch. Yeah. These are for trailers. Yeah, they're called glad hands. So instead of having the truck air the trailer up and waiting for the truck to air up, you can just use shop air and hook them to the trailer. So this one will be for your parking brakes, and this one will be for your service brakes. Is that like to re release the parking yeah. brake? Yeah. Huh. So trucks are all air. Unless you're in like the medium duty, then you might get some hydraulics. Huh. But yeah, trucks are air. That's wild. I know nothing about, <laughs> nothing about these. 
That's so cool. So does that uh, air hammer hit pretty hard? Yeah, this one pretty good. I like my Matco one. I use oh, it more, but yeah. Um, yeah, this one's good. Nice. That's cool. Did want to spend snap on prices. <laughs> <laughs> this is this drawer used to be real packed. Um, I'll throw like broken stuff in here. Like these are all Matco that need fixed Monday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, air chucks. You guys air... must you must break a lot of stuff here. Huh? Like, uh, stuff. I didn't break that one. <laughs> 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 Just making sure it gets fixed. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, it it trucks see a lot of wear. Hmm. So and and especially in like what people call the rust belt, it's like things are seized oh, sure. a lot. Uh -huh. So you're usually getting a torch or something big to get break something loose is this like a divider yeah they're they're um husky i oh, bought them at okay. home yeah, depot I saw those at one of the yeah yeah That's i seen awesome. them in that video uh yeah i was just walking around home depot with my brother one day and i seen those <laughs> i was like i could use those <laughs> they're in they're in this drawer they're dividing oh, these okay nice them used to just be thrown in there and nice. I, I didn't like how that was this used to be where I'd throw all my Milwaukee stuff. Oh, okay. Now it's in that box. Oh, yeah. So That's kind of cool, though. Now you have more room to grow. And, yeah, in this more room to buy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, this, my hel welding helmet's in there, raincoat, huh. gloves. Do you do much welding here? Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. We, we'll do frames. We'll make a truck longer. We, we'll cut the frame and then put more frame rails right there or change the whole. They call the... So when you do that, they call this a clip. They'll cha we'll change clips. Wow. Not wow. very often. We haven't done many recently, but. What would, why would you want to make it longer? <sighs> Just dry, dry. They look cooler in my oh. opinion, but uh, <laughs> sometimes if you want, like see in front of those tires, uh -huh. it's got that axle, that low, little tire. Yeah. You'll want that for weight. And uh, if you can't fit one right here, you have to oh, make the truck longer. Oh gosh, I didn't even. So you like retrofit like a whole wheel yeah. that comes down. That or if, say your frame's cracked, all your suspension's worn oh. out, and it's like, well, it can be just cheaper to just cut this off, weld a new, a better, better one on. Wow. Like we got a, there's a truck out there. We have to do that too. So you don't just scrap up. the truck. You just. No, no. Uh, <laughs> they're like engines. Everything in them's valuable. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Tr very... Trucks are expensive. I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> this is another drunk drawer studs caging bolts to cage a brake can to back the brakes off no what well, sorry i don't know what the, you just said. yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry um so this is a caging bolt um well so oh here another field trip here <laughs> this is awesome so this is a brake can this when you push your brakes and air air will come to this and it'll push a thing out to engage your brakes okay but say this thing's broken and, and you want your brakes something's broken in your brake system you can put this in there uh, and it'll kind of take that brake out of order huh. so those are specifically made for that yeah all right i feel so uh <laughs> in a different world yeah i have no idea what's going on here Nice. Sorry, that was a long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some bolts. <laughs> uh, these are just tools for die grinders. Oh, okay. This is uh, take off an air compressor on the engine and put air to it to air the truck up. Oh, nice. We uh, got a truck towed in here and they left that on there. Oh. And my buddy took it. Nice. Now he don't work here no more, but uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to take that before he leaves. There you go. And then my ratchet drawer. Man, look at this thing. It's so huge. Yeah, that's pretty handy. I've gotten a motor unseized with that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Three quarter wouldn't fit in the thing to bar it over. Wow. So I was like, I'll stick this in there. Oh, that's worth its weight then. Yeah. Oh my, I like snap on ratchets. Do you? Yeah. That's this awesome. is probably my only other different brand ratchet okay. other than snap on. But yeah, snap on's my go-to ratchets. That's awesome. I didn't think I'd see any quarter inch stuff in here. So yeah, kinda... it's, it's kind of there and sometimes not. Like for some brake systems, they're pretty handy to like on disc brakes there's a little 10 millimeter thing to back the brake off to change them oh okay do you have like a go-to ratchet in here it's no oh those are all over there yeah right there. this gotcha. this is my go-to oh okay um so this is just yeah kind of black up i may even be right next to this box i'll still go to that <laughs> cart <laughs> then uh my extensions and oh, wow. adapters goodness that looks pretty yeah 
I, it's pretty new. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it's probably a month old or okay. so. Do you? Is it? Are they locking them? Yeah, they're okay. they're locking. Huh. They haven't really needed them, but there's some bolts on transmissions you can't get to on top. Mm. So and you you don't want your socket getting stuck up there. Oh yeah, or like flinging off some yeah. bolts up there. The these ones and the ones on that car are my only other brand of extensions. Okay. Is this just like a an adapter? adapter? Oh, okay, that's neat. Mm -hmm. huh. These are cool. I don't use them very much, but they're just Matco adapters. So that's half inch to three quarter. Huh. This is three eighths to half inch. Yeah. They're cool, but I don't know. Interesting. They, I, I don't use them that much. This is uh, filter wrenches, my, some of my jacks. Oh, then uh, some colored zip ties to mark lines. Oh, okay. These big trucks, do they, can you fit these on the big filters that they have? Yeah. Really? Uh, okay. This one's for cats. Okay. Those are this one. Oh, I didn't see those massive ones. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, this is for Cummins. Cummins have the same size filter as oil and fuel. So, oh, okay. so And then we move on to this guy. And so you haven't had this one very long. Nope. Three days, I think. Three days? <laughs> uh, Man. God. Did I say Thursday or Wednesday? Uh, I don't remember. I, I got it Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday, okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll start with the power drawer. so big. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I like this light. This light's cool. This is in my. This is my go-to light. When I, is this, that a stream light? No, it's Milwaukee. Oh, Milwaukee. Huh. So does that have like multiple lights on it, or is it? It's got oh, the. Yeah. You can switch it, and there's one right there. That's yeah. Cool. Oh, and it has. So it's rechargeable. Yeah. yeah. And then, then uh, the Milwaukee yeah. stuff. I was using this a lot when my, I had to send my half inch off yeah. to get fixed. This is my Matco air hammer oh, and a Milwaukee drill. Is this pretty strong? So this one's... Yeah, this one's good. Is it? That, that one's pretty nice. Nice. <laughs> uh, Milwaukee drill. This one has a lot of use on it. Then I bought that snap-on one. Oh, really? Yeah. So is that I, one stronger than the other one? I would probably say so, but it's like if you're needing strong, you're probably not grabbing this. Oh, that makes sense. It's like you're probably going to grab your half inch or gotcha. then a little bit driver for taking dashes out real quick nice. and i got a grease gun right there huh. then a the bigger three eighths oh yeah you do <laughs> much like i guess you do a lot of greasing with oh yeah trucks truck. trucks uh trucks need grease <laughs> <laughs> um yeah if you don't grease them if this truck was getting greased this drive line wouldn't be needing changed <laughs> oh man good preventative maintenance oh yeah and I, I grew up in a house where my, my dad owns his own company, truck yeah. company. And I grew up being like, trucks are religiously greased. Oh yeah, makes sense. Uh, it's so deep in here. Yeah, wow. I don't really know exactly what I want to use this area for. Oh, I like, that. yeah, I'm waiting for this, the deep set from Snap-on. Okay. Uh, I bought this set. And he's like, well, let's take this one too. And then I was like, fine, I'll just get the whole set. <laughs> <laughs> then he, then I was like, so I walked off the truck and told him to order the, the deep set. And that should be here Monday. Nice. And I love this like little area for yeah, like personal items and stuff. Uh, pry bars. The big, this one gets used a lot. Does it? <laughs> yeah. You like the handles on those ones? Yeah. I had to drill nice. that hole out for that one to fit. <laughs> uh, punches like this are pretty handy just for lining stuff up or hitting something real quick, like if you need to get in a little tight area. Oh, yeah. And uh, these, this is for blowing out radiators and charge air coolers. Blowing out radiators? Yeah, for like, for like dirt trucks. Their, their radiators will get fully compact. Oh, like the outside of them. Okay. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Like farm trucks and, I mean, really, you, you do it to everyone, but... Huh. Those are the two most common ones. I noticed, like you have the, like oh. the Lyle Genie. Yeah, like those air. are nice, but that one for that that one's that one's air. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, there. These are nice, but those one that one's a smaller profile. So I'll grab this water one and then that one. Oh, okay. Huh. Makes sense. This is nice. Some transmissions, like dirt trucks, they'll get a lot of dirt on top of their transmission. Uh -huh. And you can stick this behind the engine and just blow all that off because you have to, you have to get on top of the transmission pretty much huh. to unhook everything to get it off. So then this drawer, this box is probably going to change a lot. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, these are brake tools to back brakes off. Then uh, 
pa test light, power probe. So these are more tools to back? Yeah. So there's like, like tension? Yeah, there's uh, like six different, I think six <laughs> different things to really back them off. Huh. I guess I've seen some of these before, but that's that's crazy. There's so those, many things. They're one of those tools you'd be like, what's that for? <laughs> Then uh, some spring tools to put the brakes on. That's a spring tool? Yeah, you'll put Goodness. the spring in there. I don't use this one that much. Okay. Just because of how I do, it's a lot more efficient. You'll put it in there, then you'll pull it out, and then you can clip it in it. How do you do it? I uh, I use this, this little snap-on punch. It's, bro it's been broken a few times because of it, but you can like pry the spring in there. And I, it's Ooh. really, it's a lot faster than that, Is in it? my opinion. Huh. Yeah, if it works. And then uh, these are just some straps I bought to hold. Most transmissions are pretty easy. We have a plate that'll hold it, but then you'll get the odd wall, odd one every now and then where you have to put a strap around it so it doesn't mm, fall. That makes sense. And then a uh, uh, bearing. It's actually a race punch, but I use it more as a bearing oh. tool to pound bearings into some things, yeah. like into flywheels for the pilot bearing. Oh, I'll okay. use one of these. That's for a pilot bearing? My God. Well. I use it for it. I don't, it ain't probably like that's, for it. That's huge. Yeah. We got a bigger one. Not, and it's, it's used for races, but it's probably like that big. This is the biggest one. It's probably like an inch and a half wider than that one. Wow. Then this is a bushing kit. Oh, okay. And uh, the, one of these, I think it's this one. Gets, yeah, it's that one. <laughs> it, it gets used a lot when you're doing the cross shaft pins on Eaton transmissions. That's the most common. Oh transmission and trucks gotcha eaten okay. then there's there's pack car and freight liners or i mean dd15 detroit okay this is my second master kit wow that's like brand new <laughs> it, yeah i i got it when i got this box oh okay so just barely mm -hmm. it's ready for some work yeah <laughs> these are something you'll never see on trucks look at the triple square <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've seen i asked my i seen one of them on the truck once and i was like what are them for i was like i've never seen those <laughs> And uh, these are my Craftsman torque wrenches I was talking about. Oh, yeah. And then uh, some, uh, the jumper pack. My dad bought me that for Christmas two years ago. Yeah. And it's pretty handy. What Not kind? for trucks, but. Uh, what kind is it? It's the uh, Noco. Oh, uh, Noco. It, it's nice. It won't work for a truck. It's too oh, small. Gotcha. But it, for cars, it's pretty handy. Huh. Do you use these often? Like this? This, sawzall yeah, sawzall, that sawzall gets used anytime exhaust is being done. Oh, gotcha. Because they'll use flex pipe and it's like a flex, it's what it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to just cut that with it. Nice. And uh, my brother bought a new grinder and he gave me his old one. Oh, sweet. Then uh, this is a Milwaukee angle. So you can can drill sideways whoa that's cool yeah my dad bought me that for christmas like oh, man. i think two years ago i feel like if i got that like i'm never gonna use it, it then, like, it's, it's one of those of things where it's, it's handy when you need it that's awesome huh what is that my god it's a clutch alignment tool <laughs> jeez and then, uh, then snap-ons, coolant pressure tester. Okay. A lot nicer than the one you have to pump. Oh, oh, that's like the pneumatic version? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Then the adapter sets below it. Uh, that's about it. Oh, that's awesome. You have you have an amazing set. How old are you? 19. I, I turned 20 in December. You're 19? Wow. You have an amazing setup. <laughs> not just, not even just for being 19, just yeah. in general. <laughs> you have an amazing setup here. My brother set the bar high. He's a mechanic. Oh, yeah. Rock Springs. I was like, I got to be better than him. <laughs> there you go. Man, well, Lyle, I, I certainly appreciate you uh, letting me come out here and look at your box. Yep. It's been, Sorry about the drive. It's been, no, it's not that bad. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. This, I've never been in a big, like, heavy-duty shop like this before, which is really cool. But, uh, yeah, until the next one, guys. We'll see you.